Ladies and gentlemen, I am currently on vacation. And what better way to spend summer vacation than not going out and looking at any history, not eating some tasty food, not interacting with locals, but sitting back in your hotel room and recording chess content. Of course, I did some of the other stuff as well, but it's hot. So we're back here, we're drinking some nice giant European water, and um, I'm gonna record a video for you today that's quite special. It's turning into a little bit of a series. A couple of weeks ago, I recorded a video called This is the Lowest Chess Elo, where I spent 24 hours in the 100 ELO rating range on chess.com. I played Bullet, I played Blitz, I also asked everybody if they watch Gotham Chess, and not a single person responded to me. Well, today, I'm not going to play 100 ELO Chess, because I already did that, and I don't want to make the same content six, uh, 65 times, or however many guest the ELO episodes I have, but today I'm going to be 500 ELO. So we're going to see how good are people on chess.com at 500 ELO. That's it. That's the whole thing. And one more thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to ask people if they watch uh, Gotham content because we just, well, well, I don't even know what happened last time. It was ridiculous. Um, I feel like a good way to start is just the good old fashioned little blitz game. Um, internet here, a little bit, all right, a little bit shady. I've got a 451 blitz player. I'm going to start with E4. The 450 ELO player aborted the game. Okay, we're off to a good start. I'm going to offer a rematch. Maybe it was an accidental abort. Uh, you know, maybe he just didn't have the patience to wait eight seconds for my first move. Uh, or or maybe he saw my username. And uh, rescue Jerry. Let's go pawn to E4. Let's see how 500s play Blitz. Now, the goal here for me is not to smurf. Uh, everybody knows uh, at chess.com that I am doing this. If I do accidentally defeat anybody, they will get their elo back. Uh, I'm going to auto board here. So let's just play principal chess. We attack the pawn in the center of the board with knight to f3. Um, in a few moves, I'm going to ask my opponent if they watch Gotham. They play knight to c6. And uh, I'm going to go for the four knights. Obviously, I can play bishop c4. So here we have a very standard four knights. I think now's a good time to ask the question. Uh, hi, do you watch Gotham chess? All right, last time we went 0 for 5 or 0 for 6. Let's see how chatty these folks are. Let's play bishop b5. This is called the four knights. It's not really any sort of opening. Um, and my opponent said, perhaps... Well, we already got a response. So it seems like the 500s are real people. When I was playing 100 ELOs on chess.com, not a single one of them was responding to me, which just makes me think they're all chat GPT programmed individuals. Um, we're going to castle. And um, we, we are down 20 seconds right now. It seems like we're just getting copied. Uh, in general, copying is not like the worst strategy in the world, but it's not a very good one. Uh, at some point, black is going to have to probably do something, but not yet. I don't really know how to respond to perhaps, so I think I'm just going to ghost my opponent in the middle of the game. This is a great move. Uh, a central strike, it's well supported. I think uh, at the 500 level, a lot of people, they, they, they suffer from this. They kind of go, can I take? Yes. And then I just will. They don't really evaluate. Let me do this as well. We're now taking twice. This was a well thought out decision by my opponent. Um, and now I think... What I'm going to do is play the move bishop takes knight, because I can, right? Because the queen is hitting the bishop. It would have been a little bit better for me to probably bring the bishop back. or So this trade is, is, is not the worst thing in the world, but my opponent should not have taken with the queen. They should have taken with the pawn, because now the queen no longer defends this pawn. And just for instructional reasons, I will show that. Um, I think my opponent is now going to move the queen somewhere it can attack my knight, and my goal is going to be to defend my knight and see if that, see if they see this move. That's uh, that's what we're going for. Oh, oh no! The board is a big place. The board is a big place. Ah, I'm not gonna take though, cause I'm nice. Instead, I'm gonna go here. 
to attack the queen. Of course, their bishop, if they see this, but they don't see this, okay, okay, and yeah, they actually do move their queen. Um, what I have here is a tactic, which is a discovered attack. I can play knight f6 check, actually, and knight h6 check. Um, and uh, my queen would be attacking this queen, but not a chance in a million years that a uh, that a 500 sees that. So let's play queen f3. Of course, this has two targets on it. My opponent has not has not seen that. Let's play h3. I think my opponent is trying to set up some sort of a checkmate here. It's a very decent idea. It's a little bit of hope chess because, of course, I can take with a queen. If pawn takes, then I do, in fact, get mated. I don't really want to like throw that intensely on purpose. So if anything, I will lose this game on time. Okay, they go for an endgame. So far, so good. I mean, this 500 has played quite well with the exception of hanging the queen in one move. Actually, hanging the other queen as well with knight f6, but... That one was very difficult. That's why you always have to look for checks. This is not a good endgame move. Uh, this person needs my endgame's masterclass. You should take the, the open file here uh, if possible. But, you know, we're 500, so they push upon two squares. I push upon. <laughs> this is typical 500 stuff. Now we're going to go A5, A4. This is exa Oh. Well, I will not give you my rook. You have to activate the great move. Oh my goodness, fantastic move. All right, let's see if they realize bishop takes and then they take my pawn. That's a nice little combo there. Nice, look at that, well done. All right, the only thing that I have left going for me is back rank checkmate, make a luft. Don't just double your rooks, make sure your king has breathing space. I, I have nothing else to say. All right, that's excellent stuff. I'm offering a trade of rooks. You should... Great move. Now it's time to double up. You, you got to bring a little help. The rook can't do the damage on its own. And this should be easy. Oh my goodness. This person is playing every move I'm suggesting. I'm just going to play out a few more moves and then lose on time. This, this was a very, very, very decent 500 level player. Um, again, minus the queen hang. But that's, you know... It's not a real 500 ELO game unless you blunder your queen in one move. Let's see if I can get myself checkmated with five seconds on the clock. I'm going to try to, you know, is there a mate? That's not mate. Don't play. Oh, no. Whoa, with point one, I take the rook. Uh, yeah, and listen, in Blitz Chess, time is part of the game. You cannot be mad that you got flagged or you lost on time um, because... You are the one that clicked the three-minute game. You know what I mean? All right, let's do a little quick little game review um, of this 500 ELO game. That that was a <laughs> that was that do that that dude or dude that they were they were very strong. I mean, this person's game analysis after was ah okay. Well, we're we both got an estimated ELO 500 ish. All right, well. I thought that they played pretty well. I mean, they played very normal. They played four knights. Um, they also said they watched me, which is good. Knight takes. And then here, of course, this is disaster. Uh, you have to be careful with the long range pieces. In general, just returning to the square where you were is completely fine. But they had the right, uh, right idea. I really like that. My opponent's plan here was to rotate and attack over here. It was a good idea. It was bad execution because the knight was just hanging. So, and then here I missed. Uh, I missed the big chance, which is knight to f6 check, discovered attack on the queen. But okay, I mean that was a, that was a very good start. Um, let's do a little bullet intermission. Let's see how 500 elos play bullet. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to be absolutely horrible, but. I'm ready to be surprised um, if I can even find a bullet game. Let me refresh the page. Sometimes that helps. If I can't find a bullet game, then I'm just going to play rapid because that's that's the that's the creme de la creme right there. I guess there's not a lot of 500s playing bullet. Oh, here we go. Delphini 369. A4. Okay. Well, I'll go on the other side then. A what is this? Now we're just playing normal. E4, D... Okay. Just... Why, why did they start A4? <laughs> I thought there was, like, some master plan. Ah, okay. Are they trying to sneak into B5? Is this the idea? This is... Uh, there, there is no idea. I'm, I mean, there is no idea for me either, but... Um, that's not a good move. That's just the one mover. 
Is there any skill involved whatsoever in playing bullet at the 500 elo? I, I really don't think so. C5. I mean, I'm just, I'm making random moves. Are they going to find knight C7? That was the whole idea, right? That's why you put the knight there and the bishop. Okay, what if I attack you? Will you find this? Please, okay, very good. You find this? It, that's why you moved it. What? 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 Why the but 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 the rook you, you take the rook uh, no no I could take this now but but I don't want to okay bishop takes bishop takes you got it what how are you how are you just leaving this here what are you what <laughs> no <laughs> is he gonna see his own rook <laughs> he saw it oh my god I'm gonna take the bishop. This is crazy. I'm winning on time. I don't want to win the game. Okay, I don't want to win the game. I don't want to take anybody's elo. Um, this knight is just standing here. What is going on? He just forgot. He forgot his knight is there. I'm attacking his rook. There's no way in a million years he's going to see this. Oh my goodness. This is a buzzer beater of a game. 10. I go back. He has 12. 11. Turn. Oh my goodness. Is he ever? I think he just, he's, he's totally forgotten. I'm just going to move my king around. King, king here. I have six seconds versus seven. Oh my goodness. This is stressful. This is stressful. This is all oh, I think I'm gonna flag him He's just not gonna see this as check. Oh And now what with two seconds and now he has two seconds. He has to make a move make a move make a move make a move Oh, he loses on time <sighs> Okay 500 elo bullet just not just not it really <laughs> just 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 not it um that wasn't i mean it was good content we had a combined accuracy of 35 not like 35 each like 17 to 18 um i don't really get the point of starting with a4 if then you're just gonna play pretty normally um Th th this just strikes me as complete randomness. Um, th they put the knight there, and they just left it there the whole game. Okay, so, you know, th th there is no lesson here. Um, th th this is kind of just like going to a zoo exhibit, kind of, you know? Just looking at the animals and going, oh, there's animals in there. And then maybe having a philosophical debate as to whether zoos are ethical or not. I I I, I don't. This was. I, let's just let's just move on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let's play a rapid game. Let, let's 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 play rapid. Let let's see how good. Okay, I have white again. I would really like a game with black. Can I can I try to get a game with the black piece? Okay, I get white again. I. All right, what if I, I, I want to see what they, do. I mean, I just had a game with black, but that wasn't, that wasn't real. I think chess.com is going to just give me white again because it knows, oh, there we go. Okay, we're playing somebody from, is that uh, Bangladesh? Okay. Um, I'm going to be a 500 who plays the Sicilian defense which is like the worst type of 500 because they think they have any ability whatsoever. Uh, they don't, uh, but, uh, you know. Bishop to b5. All right. Um, that's a move. Uh, it's not a move I've ever seen before. This doesn't even have a name. This 500 elo player might have just invented a chess opening. Incredible. Um, okay, well, what if I attack the bishop? Was there any? Don't go here, because you're gonna. You can get your bishop trapped. Okay. Wow. Okay. We bishop c4. I'm gonna attack the bishop again. Don't go here, because then you're gonna get your bishop trapped. I don't. This is why you should not develop bishops before knights, because you know your knights are going to those two squares. Okay. Um, you don't know where your bishop is going. Right now, the bishop is jumping around like a pinata. Uh, I'm going to move my rook. So this is a good move. Now, I wonder if my opponent is going to try to cheese me. Let's see. Are, is 500 elo? Okay, it's not a bad move at all. I'm going to take. This is opening up the bishop, and I guess trying to get the queen into the game. Very nice. Now, does my opponent see this tactic? My rook is hanging. I can defend it with my queen. I can move it to safety. I can play knight c6, which attacks this. 
they can take. Wow, played instantly. And if takes, there's queen a7. Amazing. Now, I could have just moved my rook. I didn't have to take the bishop. I could have just taken the L there. I could have lost my knight and then saved my rook. Now I'm just down a rook. Wow, good opening. Now we need to catch up in development, so I'm going to develop my knight. My opponent should also just develop. Attacking is fine because you're winning, so this is all very reasonable, but now my opponent cannot just do damage with the queen. Um, I'm now going to very quickly develop. Uh, I'm going to play e6. I think they're going to trade. I think this person is actually quite... Yeah, they're, they're playing quite well. But will they hang this? See, they've helped me activate my queen, which could be a little dicey for them. But there is this move, which is a thing for sure, targeting this. But knight f3 is just very reasonable here, developing a knight, defending the center. Yeah, I just mentioned this move. Um, I can defend this with my king or with my queen, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just like... Play, I don't know, maybe as aggressively as I can. Uh, like, give this check and then try to castle. He has, the, the opponent has c3, which is a very decent move. And it's just pure chaos now, um, because I'm, I'm going to castle. And now my king is safe. I'm losing a bishop, so I'm down a bishop and a rook potentially. But I do still have a little bit of counterplay. Um, but if my opponent is smart, they will find a way to consolidate this position. They're not going to panic with all of this here. They're going to realize my rook is not really in the game. They're going to realize my bishop doesn't have any moves. You don't have to panic. You can play bishop e3, king f1, bishop e3, take, long castles is very clean. It's exactly what I did. I just moved my bishop. Um, so th this person has played very well. Very good tactics, even though they're rated 500. Um, not a good opening, but not like a terrible one either so very reasonable um so i think um i think so far so good let's just see if they panic now right because i i am creating like some practical problems but it's it's nothing wow they did they found it they found the idea i think are they gonna castle are they gonna get their king to safety this is crazy if they actually oh I don't know about that. I don't know about that move. But they do defend their knight. So let me attack. Are they going to find the defense of the bishop? Or with the queen? Okay, good move. Good move. Um, remember, I'm 500, so I just know how to move my queen a lot. So I'm just going... I'm now going to make... 15 I'm going to I'm going to make 10 queen moves in a row. I'm at 1 2 3 4. All right, I'm going to make 10 queen moves in a row. Um let's take. That's 5. 5 queen moves in a row. And then I'm just going to give checks because that's all I know how to do. I'm not concerned with that because I have a challenge. So that is now six queen moves in a row. And seven is on the way as well. Don't think I'm not getting my seven. You, get, you move anywhere. Oh, I don't have any checks. Oh, that's so brutal. But what about the viewer challenge? This is so bad. What do I do? Oh, I said I was going to make 10 queen moves in a row. I forgot about my rook. Do they remember about my rook? Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight queen moves in a row I've made. But they can go here. <laughs> I can't take the rook. I have to give a check. Oh, my goodness. Is this 10 queen moves in a row? This is nine. Nine queen moves in a row have been made. Okay, 10 queen moves in a row. I am a 500 elo, and all I know how to do is move my queen. 11 queen moves in a row h5 check i had to break the streak unfortunately there was no other queen moves and i was probably going to get checkmated uh let's take the rook okay queen bishops surrounding my king but my king is going to get off the back rank so i'm not going to get mated right away uh, i do have my own ideas by the way uh this is crazy i might be surviving this i might be surviving this queen to c6 um, 
D okay, does a 500 know about En Passant? Does a 500 rated play? Oh, they don't. They don't know about En Passant. Oh, and now Queen to G4 is mate. The reason my opponent lost this game is because they, um, I think they didn't really value king safety. And so they had ways they could have shielded the king. They could have done it with the knight, for example. But they were, this, this, this person's very aggressive. So this person, no regard for king safety whatsoever. And, um, and also just like playing a little bit too quickly. You shouldn't play this quickly if it's a 10 minute game. Um, but, uh, Please don't go queen takes g6. Please. Please don't play that. Oh. <laughs> now I have to take. Please don't resign. I don't I don't even want to win this game. You know, I'm going to resign. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not resigning. All right. I You deserve it. All right, you deserve it. I appreciate you being a good sport. That's mate. But I'm not in the business of taking people's elo like this. I, you know, I took the last guy, but it'll get a refund. I promise. I'll ask Chaz.com. I, I called that from a mile away, too. Um, this person just needs to chill out a little bit. Like, they're just playing a little bit too quickly. Um, and even already here, Black had some winning opportunities. I could have weaved the checkmate net. Just no regard for king safety here. The king should not be this active. And I think this person is playing the game a little bit too much like a lottery. Just like rolling the dice and hoping for the best. From the opening, this person played super well. Um, D4 is a ridiculously good move for this elo. Um, for this elo. It's technically not the best move because the bishop is going to get trapped. Like I just said, and that's why you should not develop the bishop before the knights. You got to develop the knights before the bishops. But this little bishop takes knight. Oh my goodness. What a move. What an opponent. And then they played very well. But um, they were just so aggressive. Like they, they were so aggressive the whole game. And they should have dealt with the king safety sooner. They should have developed a little faster and tried to castle queenside. They didn't, and they, they that's why their king was getting knocked around like a piñata. Uh, also, I made 11 queen moves in a row, which was pretty cool. And probably the most instructive move of the game here is the move h5. Uh, because what this does is it makes my king now not open to any back rank problems. Otherwise, this is just a back rank checkmate. Uh, and uh, this move allows king h7, which actually ultimately won me the game. Because... My king was able to just defend my pawn and, okay, I resigned, but, you know, win the game, win the game, in quotes. I feel like I should give y'all a reward for making it 22 minutes into the video, so let's just end with one more fun blitz game. Let's see what happens. All right, we're playing black. We're playing a, a 518 player. Um... Let's ask this person if they've watched Gotham. I, I realized I didn't ask the other two, um... Okay, instantly takes my pawn. This is the Scandinavian defense. My queen is out, and now I'm gonna rotate it. I didn't ask the bullet person because that was just that. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. Developing for the center, very very nice. Um, let's uh, let's develop. This is a, this is not the right move. All right, they're trying to go after my my queen here. Uh, let's uh, pin. Trying to castle. Knight to e4 is a discovered attack. It's nothing really scary. The queen is very safe. The opponent very quickly takes. Um, rook to b1. Yeah, but see, the way my opponent has played this is that now I have two things on this. Now I actually have three things. Oh, okay. I, I, okay. Clearly, my opponent's strategy is to play as fast as possible. Um, they are not really playing accurately, and I really hope they don't do this, because that's the entire reason my my bishop is there. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm 500, so of course I'm going to take the first thing that I see. Um, let's play bishop takes, because I want to take the first thing that I see. And now let's play... Hmm... In reality, I have, like, check, I can activate my rook. I'm going to go here because I'm making a battery with my queen. Let's see if my opponent sees that. Rook d1 is reasonable. Bishop here is reasonable. Queen back is reasonable. 
Okay, Rook D1 is played. Now I'm going to give a check because why not? Um, we already had an endgame, so I'm going to keep queens on the board. Does my opponent see checkmate in one? Because they saw that... Oh, does my opponent see checkmate in one a second time? A, uh, a third time. Does my opponent see checkmate in one on the board? <laughs> on the board. Do they see it? I think they're going to move the bishop. Okay, I don't know if they saw it, but maybe they got lucky. I don't want a queen trade. I want to go for the pawn. Maybe they're going to go here. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I don't know. Bishop here. I'm, I'm losing a lot of pawns in this process. I'm setting up checkmate in one once again. They can give me a check first before dealing with the... Oh, good move. I'm now... Oh, no. Not only can I checkmate in one, I can also play bishop takes h2 and win the queen, but I'm 500. I don't know that checkmate in one is still on the board. <laughs> Please don't go here. Don't go here because if you... <laughs> no. No, please don't take my bishop. It's still mated one. How many mates in one are we going to sit through? Oh, it's finally been stopped. Now, I have bishop c5 check. And then I can win the queen. I, I, it's still mate in one, though. It, it's just checkmate. No, It's mate in one and the queen is hanging. Okay. I think the only thing that I can do here is somehow force a draw. I, I I just, I don't feel good about this one. I'm gonna go here. I could have taken the, I, oh, good move. They took my rook. Oh my goodness, that's not mate though. That's not mate because I have this. I can take, but then I'm gonna lose this. Oh my goodness, I have 30 seconds. They're taking, what? Queen b8, right? Queen b8, chase my king around, or queen to d4 check, and then queen to d5. Queen d4, queen d5 has to do it. What? No! Why did you do that? Okay. Rook g8, does my opponent see queen d5? Queen d5 saving the day. Or are they going to go queen g2 or here? Oh, they found it. Nice. I'm going for mate. That's not even a mate. Rook e6 check is the knockout punch. Okay, good move. Yep, good move. Good move. Rook takes. Rook takes. Check. Oh my goodness, what a game. Please don't go queen f2 check. Please. Please. Just don't... Alright. I have... This is my only hope. Check. We're just repeating. Oh no. Oh no, is it gonna be a draw? I'm attacking the... <gasps> ah! This is crazy. Oh, this is check. Oh, this is check. Oh, please block with the rook. Don't block with the queen. Don't block with the queen. Please block with the rook so I can maybe make a draw. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, and now there's 40 seconds left for my opponent. Oh, this is crazy. Is this gonna be a draw? Can I get a draw here with four seconds on the clock? Four seconds on the clock. Is this a draw by repetition? I'm going to offer a draw. Four seconds versus 30. I'm offering a draw by repetition. It's not because queen can block and it's a check. Please don't go here. Ah, ah. Oh, no. It was check. No. Wait, they didn't take my queen. That's mate. No, it's not mate because it's a pin. Wait, why are they not taking my queen? Ugh, why did they not take my queen? Can I get stalemated? I gotta get stalemated. I got one second on the clock. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I lost. I lost. Lost. Well, that was a fitting conclusion to this video. <laughs> that, was... <laughs> that was good. I, um... I almost snuck away a draw.
I almost had my opponent fooled with four seconds versus 30 that I was repeating moves. And unfortunately, queen g1 was found, but they didn't take my queen. So to summarize, at the 500 level, the openings are actually not that bad. Uh, the 500s are getting very, very good positions in the opening. Now, there are very clearly different styles of play. There's the blitz player that just plays as fast as possible. This person was up like 40 seconds in the first uh, stage of the game. The last person that I played played fantastic in the opening, even though the opening was shaky. So you got the player that freestyles the opening, but then is really good tactically, has very good instincts. Um, just has to respect king safety a little bit more. You got, you know, the the first player that I played, which was a, a pretty, you know, back and forth game, and they clearly had some plans but made some mistakes. And then 500 ELO bullet might just be the worst thing ever. So that is what 500 ELO chess is like. Um, I... We'll probably do this again for 800 or 1000 ELO. Let me know in the comments what you would like. And in the meantime, I'm going to go enjoy uh, some dinner. So I'll see you in the next video. Get out of here.